Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to create a fixed footer in Weebly. Um, so this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on Weebly Tricks, and I will post a link to that written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Alright, so what is the fixed footer? Alright, let me show you. So this is the demo site we'll be using for this tutorial. And if you look at the bottom here, there's a gray box, a gray content area. That is the footer, and it is fixed. So what does fixed mean? Well, let me scroll down and show you. Keep your eye on the gray footer box here. So as I scroll down, it doesn't move. It's fixed. It, it's, uh, it's static. It's uh, stagnant. It, it's unwavering. It just doesn't move. So it remains stuck at the bottom of the viewport, which is the visible screen here. Um, regardless of whether you scroll down, up, okay. So I'm going to show that's just a basic fixed footer. Um, additionally, or I should say optionally, I'll show you how to create a uh, fixed footer that slides in as you scroll down, and that looks like this. So keep your eyes on the bottom part of the viewport here as I scroll down. All right, see that? So it slid up, and as I scroll up, it scrolls down or it slides down. So I'll show you how to do that at the end of the basic fixed footer tutorial. All right, so uh, let's begin. Step one, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. So go to theme at the top. On the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. And that'll give us access to Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Whoops. Uh, step two, add HTML code. All right, so copy the HTML code that's provided in the written tutorial. Okay, and on the left under header type, choose um, the page layout that you want your fixed footer to appear on. Now, real quick, I want to know if you want your fixed footer to appear on every page of your site, then you're going to have to repeat this process for process for every page layout um, that your theme has. So we're going to put the uh, for this for this demo site, we're going to put the HTML coding on the head page layout. So once you click on the page layout of your choice under header type, on the right, scroll down until you find the, um, the footer div, the inherent footer div that came with your theme, okay? And for this particular demo site, it's right here, all right? And right above it, paste in the HTML code that you copied from the written tutorial. All right, and we need to make that look somewhat nicer. Step three, add CSS codes. Copy the CS codes in the written tutorial here. All right, and on the left under styles, click on main.ls and scroll down until you find your, um, your inherent footers CSS codes. And I just so happen to know that they are right at the top here. Okay, so once you, and here they are, once you find the footer codes that came with your theme, directly above them, give yourself some space and paste in the CSS codes that you copied from the written tutorial. Okay, and I'm just going to um, fix this up so it aligns, uh, so it's more appealing to the eyes. Okay. All right, so uh, click save. And at the bottom of our screen here, I don't know if you can see, because that's all right, let me hover over here. But if you see here, there is a gray box that has appeared at the bottom of the screen. That is our fixed footer, okay? So now, step four, add Weebly elements, all right? So once you're back in the Weebly editor, go to build at the top, grab your element, and drop it in your fixed footer. Now, you might have to kind of finagle this a little bit because, let's see here. Let me see. There we go. All right, now let's scroll back up. Let's see, we've, we were able to successfully drop the element in the fixed footer. And I'm going to type, this is a fixed footer. Publish the site. And there it is. You can see that is the fixed footer. All right. So that is how you create a basic fixed footer in Weebly. Now, um, I'm going to show you how to um, 
optionally, this is optional. Um, if you're content with the basic footer, fixed footer, um, you don't need to follow anymore. You can go watch something else. Um, so I'm going to show you optionally how to uh, create a slide up effect. So as I showed you right here, as you slide, oops, uh, that's a scary. All right, so when you slide down, the uh, when you scroll down the page, the fixed footer will actually slide up. And when you scroll up to the top, the fixed footer will disappear. All right, so how do we do that with the code we just um, implemented? Let's go back to the tutorial. All right, advanced option one, slide up on scroll. All right, so um, as you can see here, we have two things. We have to add some CSS codes, additional CSS codes, and some jQuery coding. But it's really easy. So all you need to do is copy the orange codes in uh, the written tutorial and add them to the CSS codes that you uh, pasted in your site from step three. So I'm going to start with the uh, bottom code here. So I'm going to theme, I'm reaccessing the really, uh, HTML CSS editor. All right, and I'm in the CSS file and I'm just scrolling down to the CSS codes that we added from step three of the tutorial. All right, so I copied the bottom code. That's the first part, negative 500 PX. Okay, um, need to add in these transitions right here. And I need to copy it, copy in the, uh, this additional CSS code. You said in there, okay. All right, click save. That'll take care of the CSS component of the slide up, the uh, slide up effect. And now we just need to add in this jQuery code. So just copy the jQuery code that's provided. All right, and now put you back in the Weebly editor. Go to settings at the top. On the left, click on SEO. And under footer code, just paste in the jQuery code that you copied from the written tutorial. Click save, click publish, and let's see if it works. All right, let's keep our eyes on the bottom here. And it looks like it works. All right. Uh, real quick, though, I just want to let you know that um, if you want the, uh, the fixed footer to slide up, um, when a user is further down the page, all you need to do is just adjust the uh, the number 10 here that's in the jQuery code. So all the 10 is, is just the padding from the top in pixels. So right now you can see that the code is set to 10. So when we scroll down, starting from the top, I have to scroll down 10 pixels and then the fixed footer will slide up. So as I scroll down 10 pixels, there's the footer. Scroll back up, it disappears. All right, and of course there are additional options as well where you can um, choose to um, have the fixed footer become non-fixed for mobile. So it'll actually appear directly below the uh, main content area in your website on mobile, on the, on the mobile version of your website. Uh, it will not be fixed at the bottom of the viewport. Um, or you can choose just to have it, the fixed footer not display altogether. All right, guys. So that is how you create a fixed footer in Weebly. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching.